Hi there, it's Krista. I want to talk to you today about the F1 student visa. We work with a lot of F1 students whose dream is to go study in the United States, further their career, and come back to their home country to help develop it, to contribute to the economy, and to really develop their career at a higher pace than they would be able to if they had studied at a local university. So today I wanna to share with F1 students what the visa officer is actually looking for in your case. There are three criteria upon which an F1 visa application is judged at the visa interview. The first is whether or not the applicant is a real student. The second is whether or not the applicant can afford to pay the studies that they're going to do in the United States. And the third is does this applicant intend to leave the United States after their studies are complete? Okay, so those are three big things that the visa officer is looking for in your visa application. So why would you say anything in your visa interview in the responses that you give at the visa interview about things that are unrelated to those three points. The idea here is that whatever you say at your visa interview, make sure it somehow ties back into these three points. I'm a real student, I can afford my studies, and I intend to leave the US when I'm finished with my studies. Very important to make sure that your answers are touching on and capturing those points so that the visa officer, you know, when they're looking at your case saying, okay, they're telling me about their prior studies, about why this makes sense for them, about why they want to do this degree. They seem like a real student. And then with the finances, all right, they've laid out to me that they're from a financially solvent family or that they have this much scholarship. They've secured XYZ loan and they plan to pay it back in this way. All right, it sounds like they have a solid financial plan and they can afford this education. And then the last thing is they wanna hear, what are you planning to do when you're done with this education? Why do you wanna do this in a larger sense? Not just, oh, I like US universities or it's a good opportunity or I met XYZ professor, but in the bigger scheme of things, how is this degree going to relate back to your success in life and your eventual goals? At the visa interview, it's important to point to how you wanna use this degree back in your home country. So I wanna do a specialized degree in physician's assistantship or you know whatever topic it doesn't it doesn't necessarily have to be any specific topic for the purpose of this advice but I want to do this specific degree because it's going to help advance my career when I return to X country right the visa officer it needs to hear that stuff in order to say, all right, this sounds like a qualified applicant. They're a real student, they're able to pay for their studies, and they're intending to return to their home country when they're finished with their studies. So concentrate on those three aspects when you are thinking about how you're going to be responding to the questions received at your visa interview. Here at Argo Visa, like I said, we help students all the time really get to a granular level about their case. What is, you know, the purpose of this, how, what's your past, you know, tell us about your family, all the details that we can gather about your circumstances, your life. And then from there, we try to extract the highlights, extract the points that are going to support these three elements. How can we help students present their case, their specific individual case to the visa officer in a way that is going to reflect these three points, no matter what questions they receive at the visa interview. We're looking forward to helping you with that. Let's be in touch.